Happy Manic Monday. Bitcoin is still currently holding support at approximately $29,000. We also have a very, very big update from the LFG in regards to Terra Luna, UST, some news from Sam via FTX, and of course, some really, really bullish news for El Salvador and Polygon Matic. Let's get into it, babes. Welcome back to The O Show. Everything crypto and NFTs. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, set alerts. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and TikTok for more crypto breaking news. Now, taking a look at this heat map here. I love heat maps. They break the market down a little bit easier. We can see, which I know you all can't see because I'm hiding it, but Bitcoin is currently trading at $29,549. And the market is a little bit red right now because we're kind of teetering here at this support. So let's go ahead and first check this out out via price. So we were teetering here at approximately $31,000 and now we're currently trading at $29,000. I told you guys I'm expecting consolidation between approximately $34,000 and $24,000 here. Yes, Market Cipher did print a local bottom, but generally when you find a local bottom, you're going to see consolidation areas. I would be a little bit concerned if we broke below $28,000, but then again, I could potentially see it as a short opportunity back to $24,500. Again, bullish scenarios when we break up above $34,000, bearish is if we break down below $24,000. $4,000 in my personal opinion. Now, let's talk about this story regarding Terra Luna. And I know I posted an update for you guys. So Luna Foundation Guard depleted its $3 billion reserves to try to save UST, it reveals. So basically what happened is they sold most of their Bitcoin. The reason why they did it is they're trying to re-peg UST and save Terra Luna. Well, if you go to get their Twitter page over here, it's telling you exactly how much they sold. So approximately 80,082 Bitcoin. And this was done May 8th between May 10th. This is important to know because the fact that we held support strongly approximately around 30,000 to about $28,000, this is good. Very, very good. And this is also good that they sold this Bitcoin in the past. So any more market volatility we see is on us. It's not going to be on Terra Luna or LFG. Now, as far as kind of getting Terra Luna back where it needs to be, it's going to be very, very hard. And that's why I'm saying if you guys are going to invest in Terra Luna, expect your money to disappear. I don't think the project can be saved, but I could be wrong. And I hope I'm wrong because I know there's a lot of holders out there in this tweet regarding what Vitalik said. So he says these types of recovery plans already exist, including standards from the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, which has a cap of the amount someone can claim. And then there's the tweet with the proposal. And then what basically what they're going to do is they are going to try to salvage it. Again, I don't think it's going to salvage. And I also think that Terra Luna is acting like the Federal Reserve, which is kind of scary. And of course, because of that, we are going to see incoming regulations from all over the place regarding cryptocurrency and stablecoins. UK is next on the list. UK Treasury to push forward with stablecoin regulation. Yikes. Polygon, Juno, and Phantom blockchains try to lure Terra's projects. There's projects built on Terra Luna. So Polygon came out and was saying, as advocating for these projects on Terra Luna to move over to Polygon. And the reason why they want to do it is they want to go ahead, not only to get the market cap, but they really do want to help the project, in my personal opinion. From this article here via the block, these chains are bidding to attract devs by offering them supportive capital and other resources. Phantom announced that it's offering grants, marketing, and ecosystem connections to Terra projects looking for a new blockchain. CEO of Polygon, Ryan White, says his team is closely collaborating with Terra-based projects to help them migrate to its chain. Juno introduced a governance proposal asking approval for incentives for 1 million Juno tokens, approximately $7, billion, $7 million for Terra projects who wish to move their apps. This is good. And this is why I like altcoins. I like to have different options. It is good. It forces people to do better. Also, too, regarding Polygon Matic, and yes, I am a holder. Here's what I think Ox Polygon is the future of gaming in Web3. I call it Ox Polygon. Our team has worked on everything from platforms, Amazon, Unity, YouTube, Google Play, to major studios, EA, Riot Games, Activision, multiple COD titles, to native Web3, mythical. Ethereum and Polygon is the future. So again, this is, you know, Oh, just an update regarding Matic Polygon. I am a large holder. Well, not super large, but I've got a nice moon bag of Polygon. And I think it's important to note all of the connections that Polygon does have. And I think, 
I have a inkling that if Terra Luna is going to succeed, if they want to succeed, if they want to keep pressing further, that they will probably merge over to Polygon. Now, taking a look at Polygon over here, we had that swing look low that hit 51 cents and we're up. We retested the EMA nine, which yesterday, if you guys watch the show, we tested the EMA nine on a lot of different projects and we really needed to break above these. Right now, our bear scenario is kind of playing out with altcoins just because Bitcoin is at this crucial level here. In order for me to be more bullish as a trader regarding Matic, we need to flip above this EMA nine over here and then we can safely retackle 91 cents. Now, taking a look at the 12 hour chart, just to see if I see anything different. We're we're kind of conflicted here. So we'll probably just kind of vibe around this area between approximately 70 cents with Matic Polygon until we get some more bullish news with Bitcoin or if Bitcoin decides to dump, you can expect a bearish retest. Now let's talk about Mr. Sam over here. Sam Bankman Fried, founder of FTX, said that Bitcoin has no future as payments network because of its inefficiency and high environmental costs. Countries such as El Salvador and the Central African Republic have adopted Bitcoin as legal tender. So I think that what Sam was meaning to say that it's going to be kind of hard to use Bitcoin because the network is a lot slower, which does make sense. I understand it, but people always take things out of context all the time. But this story is immensely important to know. From Mr. President himself, Bucali. Tomorrow, 32 banks and 12 financial authorities, 44 countries will meet in El Salvador to discuss financial inclusion, digital economy, banking, the unbanked, the Bitcoin rollout, and its benefits in our country. These are all of the banks. They are from all over the world. Egypt, Jordan, Nigeria, Rasta, um, Gambia, Uganda, all places all over the world. And I think this is interesting to know. Yes, there's not a lot of Latin American countries there, but he's talking about banks all around the world. And I think the reason why they're meeting together and doing this is a lot of these countries, whether they're big or small, they're probably interested in breaking away from the US dollar, the IMF, and some of these other entities, just like El Salvador did. Yes, Bitcoin price is not trading where we want it to trade, but long-term, I am immensely bullish on Bitcoin. The fact that we have 32 central banks and 12 financial authorities that want to talk to the president of El Salvador about Bitcoin being legal tender, um, the rollout, the benefits, et cetera, immensely bullish for the future, in my personal opinion. And I'm a proud Bitcoin holder. Our partners over at Celsius want you to know that Celsius is still your home for your crypto. And yes, I still use Celsius. I have a business account and I have a personal account. With Celsius, you can buy, swap, borrow, earn, send, and store your crypto all in one app with zero fees, the best rates, and unbeatable customer service. Now, let's talk a little bit about storing and accessing. Keep your crypto safe without having to worry about lost seed phrases, and you're able to swap, send, or withdraw your crypto at any time with no fees. One of the things I really like about Celsius is any time you want to send crypto from Celsius to a new address, you have a 24-hour wait time to do so. And you have to put in your 2FA, um, confirm via email, all of that stuff. So just in case something does happen, you are going to know. And that makes me feel safe that my crypto is safe with Celsius. Next, borrow and spend. You can access cash without selling your coins. Crypto back loans start at 1% APR, and you're easily able to send and receive crypto fee free through Cell Pay. You're also able to pay anywhere cards are accepted with the Celsius card that's coming soon. Personally, I cannot wait to get that because I will be able to spend some of my passive income that way very easily. And of course, earn and grow. You're able to hold long-term as your coins appreciate. Earn yield on 40 plus digital assets without staking. Again, please make sure to read the terms of services because this feature is limited to non-US users and US accredited investors. Also, you will be able to rebalance your portfolio, take profits, and get exposure to new coins through swap. Earn crypto rewards every time you pay with your Celsius card, again, coming soon soon to eligible members. Fingers crossed, I qualify. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I will catch you guys later. Bye.